this part the mapping or we will discuss deeply about mapping what is map mapping so let's start so this is the first interface of MCS workbench in this the in component system one topic is there which is map so drag and drop this map into the workbench graphic area then this will come so we have to import geometry uh, first we have to write the name uh, let me write SST and then you have to made geometry or import geometry so I think importing geometry is good because in this it provides a design modular which is called designing software so you can learn that also but I am importing geometry now and uh, the right sign for this the geometry is successfully in attached so and now I will come to map and double click on this so here it shows the progress okay so this is ANSYS mapping module and when you click on the model in the this maps in this workbench then ANSYS mapping module will open up okay now let me give some introduction about ANSYS mapping the main purpose of ANSYS mapping is to provide the good mapping tools which will simplify the process of mesh generation in the ANSYS workbench and uh, they now the type of mapping we will discuss is very intensively uh, or from beginning to the end that is so now let me tell you about the types of mapping. There are three types of mapping in under which uh, many mapping methods are available. So we will discuss each one by one. And the first type is assembly or part level mapping. In the assembly level mapping, the method perform whole assembly mapping on the whole assembly and uh, uh, in that it will perform the operations boolean operations you know about boolean operations like it will combine two part and match them combinedly and the whole assembly is treated as one part and on the part level mapping it is generally perform the mapping on the part for each part and uh, after that you have to combine in the CAD model them so generally assembly level mapping is good assembly can also be mesh using part level meshing but i al already told that the mesh are have to perform separate then after meshing the or yes then after meshing the mesh are have to perform the separate boolean uh, boolean operations for that meshing that will they take time so assembly level meshing for the assembly is good part level is another thing the second type of the meshing is meshing by algorithm there are two type of algorithm available and under that algorithm there are various matching techniques which comes we, we will discuss later then so there are these are the two types of algorithm page confirming and page independent option okay now we will discuss about what is page confirming algorithm in this page confirming algorithm when we mesh by this algorithm the part which is going to mesh is respected like this all the part means surface edge and volume all the things are respected and meshing will be performed uh, in the way that first edge will be meshed then surface and after that volume will be meshed and it is uh, useful for clean geometry and accuracy the, one of the advantage of this meshing is that the when you perform the mesh and after meshing if you change the load or geometry or other things then it will capture that and we did not have to perform the remesh it is automatically updated and also there is mesh based defeaturing means where the geometry is complicated it 
this is the feature sum of the part of the geometry and uh, and one of the good advantages of this mapping is that it supports mesh refinement means generally this is a simple geometry in the complicated geometry at the edges or where the meshing element size is bigger than the curvature or any other thing then we have to perform ref mesh refinement for uh, good meshing or for to obtain the good result so it support the mesh refinement and it is good now it comes we will talk about the patch independent options or patch independent meshing in the patch independent meshing this is generally for the variety geometry they, which are not uh, means good uh, or we can say that the, this is for the more complicated geometry and the patch independent is for clean geometry so in this the whole volume is matched has uh, it is not respect it not consider the surface and edge it means it did not mean that it will not match the surface or edges it will match surface or edges also but first it will match the volume okay now uh, and one of the disadvantage is that here mesh refinement is not all allowed okay now i will tell you about meshing by element size third type later in the next tutorials and we will also discuss about the uh, type of mesh, uh, meshing methods which are available under these algorithms or in the meshing methods we can in which meshing methods we can implement these algorithms uh, it is little difficult to understand now but uh, can you go on later it will become simple so uh -huh, and default meshing control default to me meshing in the default it is it is usually given that by default the sweep meshing I will tell later sweep meshing is performed on the solid body and that quadrilateral meshing is performed on the surface body okay so this is the mesh method and the about meshing methods techniques we will discuss in the next tutorial thank you for watching